Hi, today we're going to take a look at the written book uh, Max Fuller device for an algorithm drum machine, which allows you to control its parameters with step sequencers. And basically, uh, it looks a bit like a book, uh, so we decided to call it written book. And as any book, it has pages, so you can select uh, uh, pages for each uh, pad. Uh, and control its parameters. So uh, let's have a look at uh, the step sequencer controls. Basically, we're going to start uh, with tune. Uh, if we uh, go to, we're on bass drum now, and we are on source. So you see these uh, these sections are labeled. Uh, so source uh, enables all step sequencers. Uh, and basically all the buttons uh, near the master section they allow you to switch all, all the step sequencers on and off in order not to go and switch them on and off one by one. Uh, so as regards uh, the step sequencer basically so let's uh, turn on uh, the tune step sequencer. Uh, it has uh, the speed control we are gonna go to 16th note so, yeah, and it has 16 steps at the moment. We can change it to from 2 to 64. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on 8. When you hit play, uh, you can either uh, uh, change those parameters with a mouse or you can randomize this sequencer with this random button. want to record this automation into the machine you just can record it I'm gonna stop uh, the sequencer uh, of Ableton because it's synced to Ableton and now if I'm gonna play it from machine it's all being recorded so uh, this means that basically you can use this device uh, to record inside the machine as regards the other controls uh, which you have in the sequencer a smooth control basically what it does it it smoothens uh, the values of of the steps so I'm gonna make them like really wide uh, so th that means that that this button uh, this knob turns like this uh, with uh, the smooth uh, zero and let's play it you can see it on the machine and on on the parameter that it goes really wide. If I turn the smooth on, uh, it basically uh, smoothens those values in time, so you you can have uh, a smoother uh, curve. And the last uh, knob, uh, which we have on the sequencer, which is an offset knob, uh, basically allows you to, to offset uh, values up and down. Now it's on zero. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the smooth so it goes kind of in the middle. And now I'm gonna offset it. And basically, I think it's obvious what it does. That is kind of all. Uh, approximately uh, regarding the control of the step sequencer uh, but we have those uh, R and M buttons left on it uh, so uh, basically uh, these uh, buttons are uh, related to the master section uh, as you can see uh, in the middle we have uh, master section uh, all these knobs basically allow you to uh, control uh, all the instrument section at once. Yeah, so if, if I'm on bass drum now and I want to offset everything in this section, I can use this uh, offset control on the master section 
and you see all the all the offset controls are moving in the in this instrument uh, ba bass drum de uh, dedicated uh, section. The same is for smooth, for speed, uh, and for steps. As I said already, there are section buttons which enable all the all the sequencers. Now this on off button basically trick, uh, turns on and off all all of the instrument uh, sections. So I'm gonna turn them on off so you can easily disable them all or enable. Now we are moving to the random button, which basically randomizes all the instrument section sequencers. But it only does it if uh, the record uh, uh, button is enabled on a particular sequencer. So for example, I'm gonna uh, disable all of them now. And I'm gonna select uh, tune and decay. Uh, and if I'm going to press this random button in the master section, uh, it's going to randomize the sequencer just of these tune and decay sequencers. You see, there we go. And as you can see, smooth and offset and the steps are changing now. In case you need to leave the speed of each sequencer, uh, which you're already like, happy with, uh, you can deselect this small yellowish toggle and when you're gonna be uh, send them random messages to the sequencer, it won't change the speed anymore. So now if I'm gonna select uh, the speed on 128 on both tune and decay, and I deselected the speed, you see the speed uh, stays the same. So you can select what kind of information you want to change randomly <clears throat> with these uh, random receive buttons, I would call them. The same is for smooth. Um, uh, so I'm going to enable speed now, the smooth I'm going to put on zero on both sequencers and I'm going to randomize them and you see the smooth doesn't change. Uh, if I'm going to turn the smooth on and randomize them again, you see the smooth have changed on those record enabled sequencers. The offset is usually not randomized with uh, with the uh, random messages. It just controls uh, all the record enabled offsets, if you will. And uh, the same thing with steps. So you can send uh, the random step change to to the enable record enabled sequencers, or you can just leave it like that. Uh, that's uh, what's regarding these uh, record enable button. The momentary receive uh, button basically does uh, a similar thing, but uh, it works in such a way that uh, sometimes you don't want to use the sequencer, right? So it's basically for static uh, random messages. Uh, now I'm gonna turn all the sequencers off and I'm gonna enable all the momentary receive sort of uh, controls. And this, this button, which is momentary random, is gonna just be changing the, the values of the knobs. Basically, if you would go uh, with the knobs one by one and change it so, uh, basically you can do it with a push of buttons. So you have, whoa, uh, you have uh, the kind of random sound generator like that. Uh, that's really about it uh, regarding uh, how the sequencers work. There is also a effect section which works absolutely the same way. The only difference is that disregarding which pad are you on, it's, it always stays here. So you have the control uh, of effects always disregarding which uh, sound are you working at the moment. Uh, and in the master section, you have the same randomization controls as you have on instrument section, but uh, they are just separate. Last little button down here is uh, uh, kind of all instrument uh, momentary random button. It sends momentary random messages to all instrument sections on all pages. So it doesn't matter which page are you on. If you uh, if uh, if uh, you have momentary enabled on symbol, uh, and we press uh, this all instrument button, you see it changes. Whoa. <laughs> um, if I disable, for example, momentary receive now on snare, and I press this uh, all instrument button, you see nothing changes. If I enable it, 
it changes. Uh, that's about it, really, uh, regarding how it works. <laughs>